welcome back to the channel guys, Jvids here. Uh, today I'm going to go through uh, just one of the uh, great fishing paths throughout the Dakota River um, that we can generally take to make some uh, decent little bit of money as we go through our little path downstream. Um, so we're going to start off right at this point here. Now these spots uh, may not be new, um, but I just figured I'm going to show just the general path um, that we can take all the way down the river. Um, so this is going to be a little bit longer of a video than I normally make, um, but I will put timestamps in the description or the comments more so. Um, that way you guys can skip to each spot without uh, having to watch all of the video if you choose not to. I figured I'll at least leave that option for you guys. Um, so we're going to cover a bunch of different spots and a, def a bunch of different fish. Um, this spot here, we're just going to be mainly getting the sockeye salmon. Uh, cast towards into the rapids here for a shorter cast. Um, but if nothing's happening there, just move around a little bit throughout the area of your casting like you saw me doing earlier. Um, there is also some pike that will show up here eventually. Uh, I don't usually uh, go for them so much here. We are going to get those also downstream. Um, again, we're also going to get some a uh, couple of spots for the sockeye salmon and a spot down all the way at the end um, for some smallmouth bass. Uh, so we're going to get a wide range of fish here. Uh, for the pike, we're going to use the cart method. So uh, we're going to load up the cart and our horse with that fish there. I think I just saw a pike in front of me get these things in here. Unfortunately the night time came about on me. Um, after this I am going to wait it out and uh, bring the daylight on so the video is not all in the dark here. So we're just going to bring these fish in here. I, it's up completely up to you how long you want to stay at each spot. If you want to stay the whole time completely max out your fish, uh, that is completely up to you. Um, I have a little bit of ADD, so I don't really like sitting around for too long. So I usually uh, catch about anywhere from 10 fish or so. Uh, sometimes a little under, sometimes a little over uh, from each spot, and then I usually move on. I may not do that fully for the video here, just for video's sake. Uh, but they come in fairly quick here, guys. You can just use the river lure, nothing fancy. If you don't have it, if you're new, uh, coming onto PC. Uh, this works just as well for you guys here. Um, so just uh, use a little bit of gold and I highly suggest you going to get a fishing rod and making some easy money doing some fishing. It's also quite relaxing. Uh, so now we're going to move down to the next spot here. I'm not going to show you guys me running. I will definitely show you on the map where I am each time. Um, so therefore you know where I am. Bring this thing nice and close down here. I'm trying to go slow so I don't kill my horse. We are just uh, coming down Dakota. We're just underneath the Dakota River sign now. Uh, still on the same side of the river. Uh, this spot here, we're going to load up on the pike, as we saw with the cart there. Um, so call in, dismiss your horse by fleeing it, and call in your uh, hunting wagon. If you are in the trader role at level 10, you can own one of these. Uh, if you're new to the game, going on to PC like I was saying, uh, it might take you a few a few days to grind up on uh, on the online mode and the trader role before you got the wagon, but it's highly recommended. Um, it's a very good tool to make some money, and not only that, it helps you with the trader role as well. But anyways, I'm gonna fill the cart up. Uh, we can get five pike in there, so that's gonna be a quick, easy forty bucks. Uh, and then we can also load one on our horse. Uh, which we can uh, just keep on the back of it for uh, the rest of our travels. Now we're going to end up fairly close to the butchers at the end of our uh, little path here, guys. It's just down the river around the bend, and then we're going to cruise back up to the butchers and uh, sell what we got. Again, if you want to spend more time um, at each spot, I maxed out my fish on this spot here. Um, I probably spent about maybe five to ten minutes on each location. 
Uh, so we're going to bring in, I think, just a few more pike. And that should fill us up. And make us uh, about $49 or so, I believe. Uh, they're $9 a piece, if I can remember correctly. Sometimes these can be a little bit of a pain getting them in. Uh, they are a stronger fish, so they uh, tend to give you a little bit of a fight. But you're bringing in 19 pound fish, uh, that tends to fight for you. And that just kind of makes a little bit of the fun of the game as you're uh, making a few dollars as well. So we should only have a few more to go. We can uh, get going to the next spot. Uh, out of all the spots, I think this one probably took me the most time, probably because the fish uh, take a little bit of time to reel in. Um, but out of all of them, this is the most profitable one, so uh, spending a little bit more time on it isn't really that big of a deal. But we're going to go ahead and get one more. There's still a ton of fish out there, so... They're coming in nice and quick right now, which is very nice. Just give it a little bit of a flick. Uh, you never want to flick more than once uh, within a reel. Uh, maybe twice if you got a big long cast. Uh, but uh, flicking it too much will definitely spook the fish. And then you're going to have to find a new spot. Or wait it out at least. Uh, so this here is all filled up, so we're going to get rid of our cart and call in my personal horse and go catch one more fish while we're waiting and then we can get going to the next one. Oh, there she is. Hopefully she doesn't go for a swim and spook all my fish. Uh, she has uh, done that a few times uh, before or when I'm trying to record she'll decide to go for a swim across screen but uh, let's just get this one fish in here. It's chasing the line. Oh, that was nice. Bam! Get her right in here like so. So we're going to throw this one on the back of our horse. And then we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, the next ball here, we're going to be going for some uh, more of the smaller ones here. So we're going to be using the spinner bait. If you don't have that, I again highly suggest you do because it catches every single fish and you cannot lose it. Um, so it's a very helpful tool. Uh, I only use it for when I'm kind of uh, gearing towards smaller fish. Uh, it's just mainly because those guys will get it more often than the big ones. Um, but you can catch the big ones with it as well. Uh, it just takes a few more casts than normal. But we're going to go for some of the smaller ones. At this spot here, guys, like I just showed you on the match, this is not a new spot by any means. Um, but we're going to get some uh, little perch bluegill, um, some rock bass, uh, chain pickerel, and there might be a few other little guys here as well. And uh, you can pretty much sit here all day long catching these little things. Uh, they take no effort at all what's to come in. They reel in very, very quickly. Um, so come in here, you can pretty much load up on all the little fishies very quickly. Uh, I maybe spent about two to three minutes here. I didn't spend a whole lot of time. Uh, I just wanted to catch up, try to see what was out there, some bluegills, uh, a little rock bass, and the chain pickerel, I believe it was. Uh, but again, those things are worth a uh, dollar to 75 cents a piece. And if you have the upgraded satchel, which I highly suggest you get, if you do not, that's a trader roll, uh, once again. Um, I would highly suggest getting that because you can uh, make a few extra dollars when you're coming out doing your fishing runs or even hunting runs um, or even just keeping supplies such as food or anything like that. It definitely helps out. So, uh, so we're going to catch just a few more of these and then we'll move on to the next spot here. So again, I do apologize for the length of the video. I don't ever make these type of videos. Uh, very rare. 17-minute um, long video is very long. I completely understand. Um, so I'll try to put as many time codes um, to all the spots as I can, and keep reminding you people that just in case if you missed it, um, to go to the comments there and find the comp time codes and use those so you don't waste any time. Uh, you can get to all the spots very quickly, and uh, you don't have to listen to me jibber jabber uh, throughout the whole run. But I figured I would explain each little spot as I go. 
Uh, this spot here is not a new spot. It is very old and very used, but it is a great spot and you can catch fish very quickly here. Uh, it's very close to the Valentine's again. All these spots are very close to the butchers. That's another kind of key point is why I am uh, showing this run more than other runs um, because every single spot here is very close to the butchers. Um, so no matter when you feel like quitting, you can just run on over there and uh, sell out to make your money. So this spot here is very short casting. You can try to limit yourself to the cast towards the rocks, but sometimes it gets a little bit difficult because it doesn't really let you cast. So I just uh, just cast along the side there. Um, I will try to show you the shorter cast area. But you do have to be very patient on that side because you don't have a lot of room, so you're going to have to reel in very slowly. As you see there, it didn't really let me. You just have to find the sweet spot and use that. But go very slowly. Only click once throughout the reel. You do not have a lot of time in there, and you will spook the fish if you do it more than once. So I'm just going to keep catching these. This is the second spot for the sockeye salmon here, guys. Uh... I didn't fill up my satchel the first time, mainly because of my patient level, um, so I figured I'd show two of these spots, just in case if there's anyone else just like me who has zero patience, um, you can pretty much uh, skip right through, and uh, if you don't want to set one spot, I mean, and catch all the fish in your satchel, because it holds 20, so you could be there for sometimes a little while, so you just want to maybe move along and find that same fish somewhere else to continue on um, filling up the satchel for it. I'm just going to get a few more of these little guys. Uh, they're worth $2.50, so hanging on to these ones uh, is highly suggested. Um, with 20 of them, we'll be making at least $50 from these fish, uh, which is a very nice uh, score of money for just doing a little bit of fishing. Uh, especially if you're new to the game, it's a very easy way of making money. I'll just show you again where we were. And let's head on over to the next spot here. This is going to be the last spot, guys. And this is going to be for smallmouth bass. Uh, you can kind of move a little bit along the edge there. I kind of keep it here, mainly because it's semi-close to the butchers once again. Um, but it's a little bit of a longer cast. I personally don't mind that because I love fishing. And uh, I kind of like the long cast, kind of makes it feel a little bit more realistic. And uh, you got a little bit more time, you can have give it a little bit more action while you're out there. But I still highly suggest that you only flick through rod only once, maybe twice throughout the entire reel. And we're going to bring in some smallmouth bass here. Now, well, those are worth $2 a piece. Uh, not as much as the other fish, but it is a good addition to the run. Um, especially as you're finishing off. Um, so after this, we're going to take a quick run to the butchers and we'll cash out. Uh, again, just a reminder, guys, that all the time codes uh, or time stamps, whichever you call those things, uh, will be in the comments there for you guys to use so uh, you don't have to uh, listen to me jibber jabber. I figured that's going to be the most helpful thing. Um, I know any video that's long that have those, I really highly uh, liked and I always enjoyed because I'm not a very patient person and I don't like listening to a whole bunch of stuff um, to get to what I'm trying to find out. Um, so for that, uh, I'm going to put those so you guys don't need to listen to me. <laughs> you can move on and uh, do your thing very quickly. And holy shit, I keep falling off that damn rock. I probably fall off at least three times. Nope, oh, there's another one. Son of a bitch. All right, let's let's go here, guy. All right. So once you get the line out there, it's really not that long before you get a fish on. Give it one little flick, and wha bam, we got a fish on again. These things are. Oops, sorry, bumping my mic. I apologize for that. Probably sounds like crap if you're uh, listening through headphones or anything. And I'm not going to spend too much time here, just to fill up at least five or six of these things. And then we're going to take off and go to the butchers and sell what we have. And uh, that will be the end of the video for today. 
again, I do apologize for the length, guys. I know it's uh, very long, um, but uh, I don't mind making it. I know I'm kind of probably repeating myself a lot and just jibber jabbering and uh, gabbing about pretty much nothing. I got my winter tires on. If that helps for anything, that can be the story of the day. I haven't got the tires actually on yet. I just finished painting them a nice pretty white. I go with my black G35. It's a very nice car. And uh, I like the white with the black. It really stands out together. Anyways, uh, let's get back onto the fish in there. Um, and let's bring in some more of these small melt bios. I think this is going to be my last one here, actually. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just pack it in here and let's head on over to the butchers. Not that far away. You could probably even go to Strawberry too if you wanted to well, really wanted to, but I think this one's closer. So let's go ahead and just sell my fish. That's all I have in the satchel. I made sure I was empty before I uh, started this, so we could see exactly what I sold. And we made a. Probably just around $150 or so, maybe not quite. I didn't actually see what uh, it was prior to me selling it there. But uh, it's a good little run, and uh, to be honest with you, it's uh, it's really fun doing some fishing like that. I really enjoy fishing, and uh, I hope you guys do. Most people that watch in these kind of videos obviously do enjoy the fishing as well. But for that said, guys, uh, let's just get this sold. This is $40 in my cart here. Don't forget to call that back in. And whoever stuck it out for that whole 17 minutes, uh, thank you very much. Make sure you sh tell me in the comments there if you did. And make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.